Have you ever heard of streptococcal pharyngitis? Streptococcal what? Uh, what do you think streptococcal pharyngitis is? Is that like a type of in inflammation or maybe? Have you ever, have you guys ever heard of uh, streptococcal pharyngitis? <laughs> have you ever heard of streptococcal pharyngitis? Yeah. All right, yeah. So Megan, uh, what do you think or what, what do you think is uh, streptococcal pharyngitis? Strepto what? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what that is. What do you think it is though? I'm taking a pretty good guess and it, I'm most likely thinking it's strep throat, which is not fun. It's <laughs> in your throat, I believe. Yes. Is it like strep throat? So Sam, mm -hmm. have you ever heard of streptococcal pharyngitis? Yeah, I've never heard of that word. I, have, I wouldn't even know where to begin to tell you what it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dr. Week is, um, what is uh, streptococcal pharyngitis? Uh, streptococcal pharyngitis, we also call strep throat, which more people have heard of it that way, I think, than uh, streptococcal pharyngitis. It's a bacterial infection that infects the back of the mouth, back of the throat, um, the tonsils, um, with a bacteria known as streptococcus. Um, there are many different uh, groups or sort of streptococcal cousins that can cause um, strep pharyngitis, but the most common one is uh, group A strep. Uh, um, what are also the symptoms for strep though? So symptoms are sore throat, um, often accompanied by swollen glands in the neck, sometimes headache, fever, uh, sometimes nausea, and sometimes it can actually give you a rash if it goes untreated for a while. All right. Um, what would you say would be some of the treatments for it? Well, the standard treatment uh, is penicillin, um, either by mouth or by shot. Um, but we also, for ease of taking the medicine, will use other penicillins like amoxicillin or people who are allergic to penicillin. There are many other types of antibiotics that we can use. But it is an infection that needs antibiotics to, to uh, get rid of. Um, also, uh, what do you think people can do uh, to prevent from getting this disease? Well, the most important thing is just basic hygiene. Wash your hands before and after you touch your face or are in contact with anyone else who's sick. Certainly, if anyone has strep throat that you know of, you would want to stay away from them or uh, certainly avoid intimate contact or sharing of food, drinks, utensils, that sort of thing. Um, but mostly it's, um, you know, making sure that you're not, uh, that you're minimizing your exposure to it. <laughs> Streptococcal pharyngitis, also known as sore throat or step throat. This is an infection of the throat and tonsils, mostly caused by the bacteria called streptococci pyogenes. Symptoms. The symptoms of the disease include sore throat, penguin swallowing, fever, fatigue, and also some tenderness and swollen lymph nodes in the neck. Tonsils get swollen and often covered with pus sometimes. Also, if you start to notice a red rash and fever, then this could indicate a type of fever called scarlet fever. When the disease is left untreated, it could last to four to five days or even weeks after the symptoms of pharyngitis have stopped. How it's transmitted. Streptococcal pharyngitis is transmitted by having direct person-to-person -person contact, most likely via droplets of saliva or even nasal secretions. How to get tested. One of the most common procedures for this disease would be by culturing a swab of the throat. The results of this culturing are known after approximately two days. However, doctors have found a more efficient way to diagnose the disease. This test is called a rapid test, and it's done by utilizing a swab of the throat. The results 
for this test are, mo are most likely available after 15 to 20 minutes. Streptococcal pharyngitis is seen in the emergency room from approximately 11 million patients annually in the United States. Treatment. The most common treatment is an injection of penicillin, but there have been some reports of penicillin being unsuccessful. That is why instead of penicillin injection, the treatment can also be an antibiotic for approximately 10 days. Some people are also allergic to penicillin sometimes. In this case, the most recommended medicine by doctors would be erythromycin. Other treatment for streptococcal pharyngitis could be ampicillin or amoxicillin. Amoxicillin is, of, is often substituted for penicillin because of the taste and the available chewable tablets. Complications. Two major complications that pharyngitis can bring to someone are rheumatic fever and post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. This happens mostly when the disease is left untreated. Symptoms for rheumatic fever are heart failure, pain, swelling of the joints, turned chorea or involuntary movements, fever and sometimes nodules under the skin. Post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis is another rare complication that occurs approximately 10 days after having streptococcal pharyngitis, but this one consists of kidney failure. The symptoms for this complication are dark urine, less urine output, mild swelling around the eyes, and fatigue. Sometimes some high blood pressure may occur as well. How to prevent it? A way to prevent streptococcal pharyngitis is to maintain a good hygiene and of course to avoid contact with others that have the disease. Streptococcal pharyngitis. Streptococcal pharyngitis. Streptococcal pharyngitis. Pharyngitis. Streptococcal pharyngitis. Streptococcal pharyngitis. Streptococcal pharyngitis.